Failure Investigation of Natural Gas Pipes API 5L X42 Carbon Steel NPS 8 SDR 17 and 125 mm MDPE Lecture by Dr. G. Subramanian Chief Scientist Retired CSIR Central Electrochemical Research Institute Investigations have been done on the probable causes or events that might have led to the failure of two parallel natural gas pipes API 5L X42 Carbon Steel NPS 8 and the SDR 17 125 mm medium density polyethylene pipes before furthering into this lecture, we can have details about NPS 8 and SDR 17. NPS means nominal pipe size. NPS 8 means the outer diameter in inch is about 8.625 inch and wall thickness of the pipe is about 0.322 inch. And SDR refers to standard dimension ratio is a method of rating a pipe's durability against pressure. The standard dimension ratio describes the correlation between the pipe dimension and the thickness of the pipe wall. Common nominations are SDR11, SDR17, SDR26 and SDR35. Pipes with a lower SDR can withstand high pressures. These two pipes were laid side by side in the same trench with a water pipe. The investigation was performed by analyzing the existing design and construction data, visual inspection of failed pipes, and pipe material analysis. Investigation from the relevant pipes data suggests that the leaked water pipe was the first to fail. The leaked water pipe created high pressure water jetting that mixed with the backfilling soil to form water sand soil slurry with high erosion properties. The impact of this erosive slurry upon the NPS 8 pipe had caused serious losses of pipe coating materials. This phenomenon explains the rapid thinning of the steel pipe body which later led to its failure. Evidence from the metallurgical study using photomicrograph showed that the morphology of the steel material was consistent and did not show any evidence of micro fractures. The failed specimen of the NPS 8 gas pipe was inspected externally and internally and photo documented. The examination of the gas pipe revealed the following. The NPS 8 gas pipe has a hole on the surface facing the water pipe. You can see the figure 3A given at the bottom side. 3A explains the 3 NPS 8 pipe condition immediately after the incident. That is A means exposed condition of the NPS 8 pipe. The NPS gas pipeline has a hole on the surface facing the water pipe measuring at 11 mm into 9 mm as shown in figure 4. You can see the gravity of the erosion pit caused by this slurry water sand water soil sand slurry as shown in figure 4. The NPS 8 pipe surface facing directly to the leaked water pipe has experienced complete loss of its coating materials and exhibited clean and shiny surface as shown in figure 3. So figure 3b gives you the close-up view. There is a hole and the surface, <coughs> the whole coating on the surface is removed and surface has a shiny appearance. No significant scale or deposit was noted on the inside of the pipe indicating that no internal corrosion has occurred as depicted by figure 3. On the right side top you can see figure 4 size of the hole found on NPS 8 gas pipe. 
which measures about 11 mm into 9 mm initial assessment suggests that the 6 inch asbestos water pipe with 10 mm wall thickness was the first to fail the flowing water pressure in the pipe was reported to be around about 1000 kpa the leak could have caused a high pressure water jet in which with the presence of surrounding soil and sand materials could have produced highly abrasive slurry this slurry could have impacted upon the nps8 first causing the erosion of the coating material and then the thinning of the steel steel pipe body after sufficient pipe material was removed the remaining pipe strength will no longer be able to withstand the high internal pipe pressure this eventually led to the steel pipe rupture and enlargement of leak section the figure the figure 1 on the left bottom side gives the overall view of the pipe and arrangements the first one we have asbestos pipe carrying water second one we have this sdr 17 125 mm they are medium density polyethylene pipe and the third one we have this api 5l x42 carbon steel pipe nps8 so this is the arrangement relative positions of the pipeline systems upon the discovery of the incident and its specific location a team was sent to excavate the site it was discovered that there were three pipes a nps8 and a medium density polyethylene natural gas pipe and a 6 inch asbestos water pipe lying parallel to each other with all three indicating signs of serious damage or leakage an electrical cable lying parallel to the pipes slightly at a higher elevation indicates no appa- apparent sign of damage the nps8 and mdp pipe was carrying 1800 and 345 kp natural gas respectively prior to the shutdown the 6 inch asbestos pipe was transporting water with an estimating flowing pressure of 1000 kpa figure 1 shows the relative positions of nps8 mdp and asbestos pipe immediately after the excavation the failed 8 inch natural gas pipe is made of carbon steel manufactured with stringent specification of api 5l x42 it was buried around 1.3 meter below the ground at about 195 mm laterally from the underground water pipe the water pipe was buried at a slightly higher elevation at 1.2 meter below the surface roughly with a similar distance between the steel and water pipes is the location of mdp gas pipe figure 2 the thicknesses of the nps8 pipe and mdp and asbestos pipes were 5.6 11.4 and 10 mm respectively the figure 2 depicts the damaged nps8 left one and mdpe right right one pipes sections figure 5 depicts the mdpe directly in line of fire of the nps8 gas jet the figure 5a outlines the actual condition and figure 5b represents the repositioned condition The high pressure jet of leaked water from the water pipe had earlier caused the displacement of the supporting soil materials underneath the MDPE causing it to move downwards. When the steel gas pipe leaked more material was displaced causing the MDP pipe to drop even further until it was low enough to be in the firing zone from the high pressure gas jet. visual inspection of the photos of the incident and on the physical damages 
otherwise physical damaged pipe sections lead to an early conclusion that most probable source of damage to mdp is caused by the impact of gas jetting originating from the carbon steel pipe nps 8 leak this is most evident from the final location of the medium density polyethylene pipe relative to the nps 8 pipe leak supported by apparent erosion pattern on the mdpe pipe damaged area figure 5 figure 5 you can see the b which throws more light on it no relevant information was available on the status and operation variables of the asbestos water pipe besides the flowing pressure and pipe diameter the right side you can see a dimensional mapping figure 6 portray the schematic of steel gas pipe showing procedures of dimensional mapping and specimen preparation Dimensional mapping was conducted on two half circles where the hole is separated about 50 mm apart. This activity provides a detailed physical measurement around the selected perimeter of the specimen at various circumferential locations as shown in figure 6. Figure 7 portrays the results of dimensional mapping of NPS 8 gas pipe and figure A results of dimensional mapping for section AA 50 mm away from the hole whereas B represents the results of dimensional mapping of the section BB halfway through the hole the red line represents the original pipe thickness physical measurement results are illustrated in the figure 7a and 7b for specimens a and b respectively the results indicated that the pipe wall thickness decreased substantially and the maximum decrease thickness or lies in the middle of the jet stream approaching the ruptured hole figure 8 microstructural examination In figure 8, A represents the microstructure of the specimen 1, whereas B, C, D, the microstructures represents the microstructures of the specimen 2. And you can easily observe from the above four microstructures, there is no evidence of microstructure changes. Examination of the microstructure at the failure region and base metal location clearly indicated no significant differences between the observed sample 1 and sample 2 which mainly consist of the typical ferrite and pearlite structure in carbon steels that is as of an API file x42 grade no evidence of any micro fractures was observed The microstructures are shown in figure A to D for respective sample 1 and sample 2 as marked in figure 8. These findings fully support earlier hypothesis that the pipe failed due to the erosion of pipe surface and not due to microstructural defects. Conclusions The investigation revealed that the existing evidence deduced from the physical data an experimental work provided a clear proof of the root cause of the pipe failure namely that the failure was due to the initial leak of the asbestos water pipe the water jet mixed with the sand soil formed an erosive substance the mixture had severely impacted upon the pipe surface causing the rapid losses of the pipe coating materials This phenomenon explains the rapid thinning of the steel pipe body which later led to its failure. The possibility of material defect on NPS 8 can be ruled out as the metallurgical study had indicated material uniformity. Thank you very much for watching this video.